This is National 5 Revision looking at uh, trig equations. This should help you with your uh, preparation for your assessments in January, February time. We've got two questions to do here and we'll just go ahead and uh, solve these as they are. Right, so the first question we've got here is to solve uh, two, the two equations that we've got. And we've got a range between 0 and 360 degrees. So that's quite important to check that out. Um, so we know where our solutions are going to come along. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the first question that's here, okay? So this is the one we're going to try and solve, okay? So it's uh, seven, 7 sine x, take away 5 equals 0, okay? Right, so what we're going to do is rearrange this equation, or any equation that we're working with, so that we've got either sine x, cos x, or tan x on its own, on the left hand side and that will allow us to solve this equation. Right, so for this one here I want to have sine x on its own so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to get rid of that uh, plus 5 that's sitting there, uh, that minus 5 by adding 5 to both sides. Okay, so if I add 5 to both sides I eliminate that and I end up with 5 over that side so I've got 7 sine x is equal to 5. Okay. Now I don't want 7 sine x, I only want one of them, so I'll divide this side by 7 and I'll divide this side here by 7. So that leaves me with sine x is equal to 5 over 7. Okay, That gets eliminated over there, that's why we divide it by 7. Right, so that's a set up ready to, to solve our equation. Right then, so in there, this is the first thing that I do is, I want to ask a question there, is that positive or is it negative? So that's a question that I usually ask. Right, so we can see clearly that it's a positive number. So that's positive 5 over 7, okay, as a fraction. So then what I would do is from there, I would write down the cast table. So the cast table is this method here that we would use. And what we would do is we would try and work out whereabouts, which quadrants, so that's quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4, whereabouts would a positive sine value uh, end up in. So all angles, the A stands for all angles are positive. So I know that one of my answers is going to be in there. And that's going to be my uh, X value that I'm going to get, my first one. And the other value, sine, is positive in this quadrant. That's what the S stands for. And that's in there. To find that angle, I'm going to start with 180 and take away what I've worked out for X. So that's the way I'm going to do that. Sometimes you can also imagine this as being your uh, your sine graph. If you think about your sine graph, so the sine graph generally goes up, uh, comes down through 180, bottoms out there at negative 1, and it, it turns to there. Okay, so that's uh, the usual sine graph, where that's your x-axis, that's your y-axis. So uh, if I split this into th uh, four quadrants, that would be my first quadrant if I split it there. That would be my second quadrant, my third quadrant, and my fourth quadrant there, okay? So if I know it's positive, and the answer is positive uh, 5 over 7, so that's 0. That would be 1 at this top here. So 5 over 7, maybe just a bit more than a half. So if I go up to there, then where I'm looking for two answers, one answer there, and one answer there. So that would be the values and the angle that's uh, down here. So whatever value that is. So one of my answers is uh, less than 90 degrees. One of my answers is between 90 and 180 degrees. And that's what helps. This is why I use the cast table. That's where I'm going to work them out. Let's go ahead and do it. I usually think about the cast table when I'm working these questions out. Right, so the first thing I want to do all the time is to work out the acute angle. So the acute angle is going to be the angle that's sitting in there. So what I'm going to do is from here, I'm going to go for x is equal to the inverse sine. So that's, that's the opposite of sine. And I've got 5 over 7. Okay. So if I bring out a calculator, then what I can do there is just put in the inverse. So I'll go for the inverse sine. So I'm doing the shift button. And then I'm going to press the sine button. So that was shift and sine. And then I'm going to put in 5 over uh, 7. So I can put it in as a fraction like 5 over 7, okay, where are we, 5 over 7, and close the bracket, and just close that bracket there, or what I could do as well is I could take that away, and if I didn't have a, a calculator that worked that way very well, what I can do is just go 5 divided by 7, and make sure you close that bracket, and that will give me my answer, so that's 45.584, okay, so I'm going to just round that to, uh, let's see, 45.584, 
Okay, and that's what I mean degrees. I'm going to round it to 45.6. Okay, 45.6 degrees to one uh, decimal place. Okay, so that's we found the acute angle, the first angle. The quadrant two answer, answer that I'm going to look for, quadrant two angle, is going to be x is equal to, and we always use the horizontal, we always use the 180 or the 360 to calculate this type of thing. So 180 degrees, take away the angle that I just worked out up above, and that should give me an answer of, let's see, that's going to be, that's going to be 134. 134.4. Okay, so that gives me my final answers because I only looked for two answers in the, in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So, so solutions are x equals 45.6 degrees and 134.4 degrees. Okay, so that's my final answer for that one there. Right, let's look at the second question. Okay, Something kind of similar. Uh, there'll be a wee bit, wee bit different, maybe a wee twist in this one as well. Right then, so what I've got to solve is 12 plus 2 cos x equals 9. So first thing I'm going to do, rearrange it and get cos x equals on the left-hand side. So I'm going to, going to solve this equation by doing it that way first of all. Right, so let's take away 12 from both sides. That'll eliminate that 12. So that leaves with 2 cos x is equal to, so what we got, we've got 9, take away 12, so that's going to give me a negative 3 sitting there, okay? So then what we'll do is we'll divide each side by 2 to get rid of that 2 that's there, so that'll get eliminated there, so that leaves me with cos x is equal to negative 3 over 2, okay? So let's see how this one's going to work out for us here, okay? So... Right, so I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that this is going to give me a, a strange kind of answer that's going to come out here. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the acute angle. And I usually work that out by looking at that value that's there. Okay, so if I look at that value that's there and I want to know is that positive or is it negative? Well, if I look at my cast table, what I can see is that's negative there, so the solutions where cos is going to be negative should be lying in the places where it's not positive. So all angles are positive here, and in here, cos is positive. So I should be looking for answers in here and here. So that would be in the second and the third quadrant. Okay, so, so when I try to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out an x value. I'm always going to work out the acute angle that I can get in there. I'm then going to take uh, that angle away from 180 to work it in here. And to work out the third quadrant answer, I'm going to go 180 plus whatever value I get for x. But, but I think this guy here has got a wee bit of a twist to it here. Okay, so let's go and try and solve that. So we'll work out the acute angle first. So the acute angle, so if I go for um, x is equal to, so the inverse cos, so cos to the negative 1 of 3 upon 2. Okay, Let's see if we can work this one out. So I'll go to my calculator. Okay, So I'm going to my calculator. What I'm going to do is I'm putting in the inverse, so it'll be a shift button up here. I'm then putting in the cos button, which is this guy here, cos. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in 3 divided by 2, or 3 over 2 is a fraction, which would be good, and mm, I've got a math error that comes up here. Okay, so I wonder why that is. So I've got a math error. So have I done something wrong? So what I would then do is I would go and check my working and make sure that I haven't made a mistake anywhere. So if I go back up to my working, what I can see is that uh, to get rid of that 12 first, I took 12 away from both sides. Yep, took that away there, took that away there. Gave me negative 3. Yeah, it looks okay. I then divide by 2. That gives me 3 over 2. Yeah, it looks as though my working's pretty good there. Okay? So, what that means is uh, that uh, if I thought about it uh, by looking at the graph. So, I'm going to draw a graph here. So, I'll just draw a kind of basic cosine graph for you. So, what we've got for the cosine graph comes through 90 bottoms down here at uh, 180, back up here through 270, and then what it does is it uh, goes to here, and that's about 360. So there's our 360 mark, 
there's our 180, there's our 90, and there's our 270, okay? So that value there is 1. This value down here is negative 1, where that maximum, uh, the minimum is, and the maximum there is a positive 1 in the y direction. Okay, so if I try to look about where uh, the, the cosine of an angle is 3 upon 2, so 3 upon 2 is 1 and a half. So if I was thinking about 1 and a half, so grab it up, 1 and a half should be, on this one, it should be up here somewhere. So on the graph, it should be about here. Okay, but the graph doesn't touch that point there. So for that there, I don't have any answers that I can get out. So what I'm going to be saying is that uh, for this one here, so there are no solutions. No solutions exist. Okay. So that's as far as I can go with that question. So quite a strange question to, to get in uh, one of our um, uh, answers from, from here, but, but certainly that's the way that one works out uh, if I've done my calculations right, which I think I have. Right then, so that's uh, two separate questions that we've got there. One that doesn't have a solution um, because the, uh, the value uh, is never reached by the, the cosine of the cosine curve. And uh, the other, where we use the sine curve to, to try to look at uh, two answers that were positive. Okay, so hopefully this has helped you with uh, your National 5 revision. And uh, this was uh, the trig graph section, and hope this has been worthwhile for you.